Hello everyone, Simsy Claire here and welcome back to my channel. For today's speed build, we are building here in Oasis Springs. Now, we are using the new pack Sims 4 Journey to Batu, and I know not everyone was excited about this pack, but I personally was. I talked about it on my channel for a little bit in my last speed build. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. Uh, my dad was a huge fan, and he pre pretty much raised me on it, so I was really excited to explore this pack, and I have to say, so far, I am very happy with it. Now, I haven't done any gameplay, so don't come at me in the comments if you haven't really enjoyed the gameplay aspect of it. I've only done builds as far as as of right now that I'm doing this voiceover but I've enjoyed both builds that I've done and I really like the create a sim items and all the build and buy items there is so much to explore you'll see it a little bit in this video it takes me forever to figure out how to do the landscaping because we honestly got so many plants and I do I was not expecting that but I guess because it's a whole new a whole new world we they gave us some you know, different alien plants, although they are very similar to the ones that we have here in Oasis Springs, which I guess, I mean, I'm kind of happy that they did that, honestly, because as you all know, you can't actually build in Batu. So I was kind of excited that the plants really looked as though they matched in Oasis Springs, like they weren't looking too out of place here. And I think that it, it really does kind of bring the whole pack together to me because if we had gotten the pack with no plants like no landscaping options whatsoever and we just had all these random like industrial clutter things i probably wouldn't have enjoyed it so much but honestly a part of my one of my favorite parts about doing the two builds that i have done so far was the landscaping so enough about that though we are now i kind of skipped over the outside of the house you can see the shape right here i was definitely you can tell i was inspired by the classic star wars star wars circle shapes and you know different houses on in some of the backgrounds that we got in the movies and in the game pack as well and i definitely wanted to try and use the more rounded like dome roofs that are very classic to the movies and the game and the world of batu at star wars galaxy's edge now unfortunately we don't actually have curved walls in the sims so i did have to make do with the octagonal shaped walls but i think it looks okay from far away you can't even really tell especially since i use the circular roofs but these are the plants that i was talking about so you can tell they're nothing fancy they're just different styles of trees they have different leaves and i totally just skipped over it because as you can tell i went overboard on my landscaping here and i do end up adding a pond i don't think I skipped over me adding it although I might have but it's technically a pool but I kind of made it look like it was like a river flowing through the backyard I do that on my other build as well because in pictures that we've gotten of Batu, the areas that aren't as developed are definitely more more lush more green and it was also reminding me of one of my favorite worlds from the Star Wars movies it's the one that um maze maz the little short alien who has luke's light lightsaber it, it's the it reminds me of her little jungle area that where she has her cantina so i was really excited to be able to explore that landscaping and i don't know i just had a lot of fun with it and it looks so good with this style of build like building it into the trees and the forest i don't know i was just as you can tell i'm just super excited about it and then going through in the house, it's a very oddly shaped house. Uh, you could see it from the outside. It does not look any better on the inside. And I'm kind of just cluttering it up. So my idea for the two Sims who are living here, because I have already made them, is kind of like a real, well, not real life, but like a Sims life Lilo and Stitch story. So one Sim came from Batu, and I'm imagining that during the first war, if you know anything about the, the Star Wars series, so during the first war, her parents sent her off to get her away from Batu when the, you know, the war was first starting, when they had to go and fight and choose their sides, but she had all these relics and all of these memories and all these pictures and everything from Batu. but when she landed, she was adopted by this family who no one really knew much about them they themselves weren't you know 
they weren't born in Oasis Springs. They, they didn't have a lot of friends in the area. Many people thought that they had come from a faraway place as well because they acted weird, but nothing had ever been confirmed. So she was adopted by this family and the young girl of that family and her became great friends. And all the stories that she would tell of Batu and all of their like all of the adventures that she would talk about that her parents went on really inspired the little girl so she and her friend made it their mission that when they were adults they were going to make it back to Batu. so that's why i named this house dreaming of Batu because basically i was thinking that their whole lives they had dedicated to learning and trying to experience the culture as much as they could from what she remembered from her childhood so that way they could go and journey there when the time was right and now that the now that they have their transportation available and they're able to get back to Batu, i think that they're both going to go and i think that they're both going to have a little bit of a different experience now obviously the one who was born there has her family to think of so i think she's going to join the resistance against the first order and the other one i think just wants to explore the world she wants to be a part of it obviously she doesn't want to be you know for the fir first order at least not yet but she wants to kind of learn a bit more and get to experience it because she feels very strongly that that was the world she was supposed to be in even though she was here she you could almost say she feels very much one with the force so i am kind of excited to get to play with the storylines because i did give them each different aspirations and so i'm all prepped to play the gameplay and this is going to be their house so when i decide to start it they're gonna be all ready to get going and i also gave them that speeder back there i don't actually know if it works because as i said i haven't done any gameplay now that this the description of it says that it's just it's a speed it's a speedster that transports so i'm pretty sure it should work but then again i don't know so don't crucify me in the comments but going through we very quickly did the main area of the house right here so you saw the living room off to the left and then we have the kitchen and the dining room area here and it's a very very industrial style that's basically what you get when you do this pack although i will say that this pack works really well with eco lifestyle i don't know if it's because eco lifestyle lends more towards modern and this pack is like industrial and modern or if they had done that on purpose so that way you could get more builds out of this pack because obviously if you're just building with this pack it has to be a Star Wars themed build. I will say that. It's a very much you couldn't do like a normal family home with this pack and no other one involved. So I'm almost wondering if they did it on purpose to where they released these in the same year so that way it was kind of more or less people were still trying to use eco lifestyle and then when they put the two together they were like oh my god this actually works and we're going through and just decorating a couple of these hallway areas i'm trying to use as much as the wall decorations as i can but i don't end up using as much as i want but i have my next build to be able to show you guys all of the new wall decorations there so this is going to be the first bathroom now it's very awkward shaped. It does work. I, I promise you I did test it and initially I was going to have the two girls share a bedroom and there's just gonna be one bedroom and that one bathroom but I did end up adding a basement because this room right here I couldn't fit two beds in it and still be able to fit like a desk and a computer because one of them does need the programming skill. I can't remember which one. I can't remember which aspiration it is but one of the aspirations you do need the programming skill so i wanted to be able to make sure at least one of them had a computer so that is why i ended up i added a basement i cut it out though because my camera was moving all over the place but i did add a basement and that's going to be where the alien lives and here is going to be where the girl lives the one who was quote unquote born here but not really born here and she's going to be the one with the programming skill i'm pretty sure if i remember that correctly if not i'll just i ended up putting a computer in both rooms so they both have one anyway but i give her a couple of different like batu decorations and a couple of different of the clutter items we got which includes a fighter helmet and some different like models of the different like planes or you know fighters and speedsters that we got it from the star wars world that way it's kind of like you know she i want to say that she like built those she was like from listening to her friend 
Maybe her friend built them for her as gifts because she knew how interested her friend was in it. Something along those lines. But going downstairs, um, I, you did not see me build this basement. Like I said, I did do it off camera because I realized midway through my build that I was going to need more space. But I'm just fixing up the floor planning. I didn't like how wide that hallway was because I didn't have anything to put back there. So I did decide to close it off a little bit more and then just place a couple of posters around. And then this is going to be the second bathroom. I do end up making this one a little bit bigger just in case you guys do have any issues with the upstairs one. As I said, I did play test it so you shouldn't. But in case you do that one, is a little bit bigger so it has a little bit more leeway but going into here this is going to be the aliens bedroom so I wanted to give them one of these sleeping pods from get famous because I've never used them and I thought that it would be a cool idea if maybe they kind of took some of the remains from her ship and they turned it into a little bed for her you know it felt a little bit I don't know maybe a little bit more like home maybe that's what she used to sleep in when she was a kid so i thought that that was kind of cool and then i also give them a couple of different like spare parts and robotics pieces because i kind of thought that this alien would be really into robotics and like fixing up her old ship and like rocket science and kind of just to help her get back home back to her world so she can help out the resistance against the first order like that was what she wanted to do to help them out and then as i said i do get a, another desk down here and i was wanting to put some postcards up but we didn't get any postcards for batu so i do just go with this base game picture but besides that that is it for this build so i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next star wars build which will be up on friday Bye!